the Edmonton Oilers tried to add some talent to their top six forwards by giving Zach Hyman a seven-year, $38.5 million deal. Jeff, this is your team. What do you think of this move? I mean, I, we, they, we, it needs to be talked about in two, two aspects. I mean, from a short-term perspective, this is a player that the Edmonton Oilers need. They need a depth in, in their forward group, absolutely. I mean, they were basically a two-man show last year. Uh, they didn't have this type of player, at least not enough of this type of player, like a Zach Hyman, who can go out and do multiple things. He's got a very good sh shooting percentage, has his entire year. He's a very opportunistic scorer, but he's also a bit of a two-way player. He does things that hopefully it'll, it'll take the load off Connor McDavid and Leon Dreisaitl in terms of going into corners and stuff like that. I think he's going to work very well. He's used to playing with top-end players. From that perspective, you absolutely love the addition. From a term perspective, this move could just absolutely blow up in the Oil Edmonton Oilers' face. It's a player in his late 20s. He's attached to the Oilers now into his late 30s. Who knows when the decline is going to happen? We've seen players of Zach Hyman's ilk definitely go downhill fast. But uh, from a short-term perspective, it's absolutely good. Zach Hyman, I expect to set career highs next year and goals scored and all that jazz. AJ, do you agree in the short term? It's great, but it's a seven-year deal. We're not sure. Yeah, I think that's a, a great analysis by Jeff on, on this. My problem with this, more than anything, it's, is not the fact that they brought in Hyman. I think that's a, a great addition. It's the fact that they still have the same two guys in goal. That's the problem for Edmonton is the net mining. If you were going to spend this kind of money, why not give it to Philip Grubauer? We we're just talking about him. There's plenty of other guys out there to roll into another season with Mike Smith and Miko Koskinen between the pipes is just to waste another year of Connor McDavid, in my opinion. Just making me cry over here, AJ. Delkovic, <laughs> Mazarek. Yeah, and anybody. Why didn't we sign any of these guys? Allmark? Come on. I could just sit here all day and list goalies I should have signed. Yeah. Paul, do you want to add fuel to the fire here? Just pile on Jeff. Sure, I do. Jeff, you're getting my favorite Leaf player from last year. That's the That's good, good news. He's a fan favorite in Toronto. Short term, the deal looks very good, but you know, as I do, this guy it risks injury every time he plays, too. And he's been nicked up each of the last three seasons. He's 29, he's not getting younger. And as you get older in this game, you do tend to get injured more and more if that's been the track record. I don't think this contract's going to age very well at all. And that that downturn could happen much sooner than even you imagine. If the injuries continue to take their toll and Connor McDavid continues to be upset about not making the playoffs, he might find a way to get out of that, uh, that situation in Edmonton. Then all bets are off. And this looks like a horrible contract in the back half because he's going to be there two years longer than Connor will be.